Okay, here's a little tutorial on Seesaw with a bit of how to log in and then what to do for assignments. So right now you're looking at the sheet that I attached to last week's assignment on getting connected with Seesaw. Hopefully you were able to read that and you were able to connect to Seesaw. If you were not, let me go through it with you now. If you had a QR code scanner, sometimes Seesaw is better to use um, on like a tablet a touch device for kids because then they don't have to worry about working the mouse. Um, so if you're fortunate enough to have um, a tablet as well, you can download the app. Um, if not, it works just as fine on um, on their Chromebook or their desktop that they're using, uh, like for Google Classroom and such. They just need to navigate with the mouse, which requires a little bit more fine motor skills, but that's fine. So either way, however you uh, decided to log in, um, if it's on a desktop, you'll click this um, this address here, or you can type it in. If it's on an app, then you can just download the app and you can scan this code. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click there and then you would have got a page that looks something like this. Now you, your child is a student, so you're going to click, I'm a student. Um, and then you kind of have an option. You can sign in with Google, which is their, their Google login from school, or you can enter that code that was in the previous, um, instructions. Uh, it's a whole bunch of letters. I think there's 16 letters um, in there. So I'm just going to paste the one that I did for my test code. And it will bring you in to uh, your kids Seesaw page. And that's it. Now you have three tabs in here. The first tab is their journal. This is where if they've done anything in Seesaw, it will appear here. Um, what happens is they do an assignment and they have to submit it to me and they won't be able to see it in their journal until I've um, allowed that. So I've looked at it and I clicked, yep, yeah, that's great. And then they'll be able to see it in their journal. So don't be concerned if they do an activity and there's nothing here. Um, there's two ways that they can put things in their journal. One of them is by completing activities, which is this light bulb. And you'll see a red number here if they have outstanding activities, activities they haven't completed yet. When you logged in, you should have only had one um, activity assigned for you here. And it was the activity where you could do anything. You could take a picture, you could draw a picture, you could do a video, anything that your child wanted. Um, I've done a couple samples in here, so I'll show you those in a second. The other way they can do stuff on Seesaw is just by adding this green button. You can take a photo. So this can actually be a bit easier um, for taking photos of work. Uh, instead of using your webcam like in Google Classroom, but it's very similar. You click this button and then uh, it activates your camera. There I am. Hello. <laughs> so that's how it can do it. They can do a drawing on here. So they have drawing tools available down here. They have colors on the sides. Um, they can do a voice recording or do typing. Um, they can also insert other pictures or they can take a video of themselves. It'll activate their camera and then they can run around and take videos. Uh, they can upload files. Note is more of a typing thing so they can type things with the keyboard. And then uh, once they type things on there, they can do it that way too. I'm just going to delete and show. This link they probably won't use, but if they were linking to a website or something, that's where that would be. So let's say that I have just a drawing and I drew a lovely happy face. To submit it to me, they always need to check the green check mark. So whether they're doing an activity or they just clicked the plus button, the green check mark is what is submitted. So you'll see at the top here, it says waiting for teacher approval. That means that I haven't clicked my button that says, yes, I accept this. Um, but once I do, then that will go away and it stays in their journal. Now, if they click on the third box, which is inbox, this is where there's messages um, or notifications. Um, so sometimes I'll send notifications through Seesaw or give kids messages. Also on their journal, you'll notice there's a place for them to comment. I will also comment on um, their activities as well and you'll read that right in their journal on their activities. I believe it also shows up in their messages. Now for activities, if we click here, you'll see there's a couple in here um, that are outstanding. I haven't done them yet. If I click on the done, it shows that I have not completed any activities yet. But once I do complete them, they'll show up in here. So let's say I'm running out of time on this recording. I would add response and then I would do what it is asking them to move things. Down at the bottom, um, initially the pencil was 
selected, which is why I was drawing lines. Um, that's not what we want. <laughs> so we're going to erase that. And the pointer finger down here is the one that we want selected so that we can move things into different spots. So if your child's having troubles with that, uh, we need the pointer finger. There's also an option, just like before with the plus button, where they can type in um, stuff into a text box. And they can leave messages that way. Uh, they can also move this sometimes. There we go. Once you click on it, you can drag it away. They can do a voice recording. So sometimes I'll ask them to explain their thinking. This is really crucial, especially uh, when perhaps their writing skills don't match their thinking skills. So explaining their thinking is great, or they can even be taking videos or pictures in an assignment. So let's say that I have sorted all of these pictures correctly or not. Again, click the green check mark and it shows that it's uploading, and then again it says waiting for teacher's approval. If we go back to activities, we see there's only one left because there's only one that I haven't completed in the to-do button, and if I look down in the done, you can see, oh yeah, I did that one. If I made a mistake or I submitted it too early, down here's a respond again. So I can do this assignment again um, if I made a mistake or I did something weird, um, or I just wanna do it again. Uh, so that's there. Now the instructions here, you'll notice there's the verbal instructions just like in Google Classroom so your child can listen to that as well. So that's a quick brief overview about Seesaw. If you've used it before, awesome. If you haven't, hopefully this helps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know as always.